Okay, right now I'm talking about gastric acid. Um, this video is just going to be very brief, so just an intro, just to get sort of some of the basics um, you know, wrapped around your head. Alright, let's start. What is it? What is gastric acid? It is hydrochloric acid, HCl. Um, where is it? It's in the stomach. So let's, let's just draw this out. So here we have the esophagus, and then the greater curvature of the stomach, and the lesser curvature of the stomach. Here's your duodenum, starting off the, um, starting off your small intestine. And um, where do we find gastric acid? We find it in the lumen of the stomach. So that's where all your food is stored. Is that is your lumen? Get the idea. So food comes down here. And this is where we find it, so that's where we have all of our gastric acid. How does it get there? Well, it is secreted by parietal cells. Where are they? They're in the oxynitic, uh, oxen, oxynitic glands. Where are they? Um, they are found in the mucosa of the, mostly the body and the antrum of the stomach. Okay, what does that mean? Well, we have our fundus here. The body is roughly this area. So, you know, you can think here's the cell walls, mucosa, more this way. Here's our sort of mucosa. And we'll find our parietal cells all in here. Maybe projecting into lumen a little bit. Okay, and we also get a little bit in the antrum. So the antrum is around here, in this sort of area. So not many, mostly in the body, some in the antrum. That's where it comes from, it goes in there, mixes with food. Okay, so what does it do when it mixes with your food or chime? Um, let's have a look. So, firstly we got our low pH or hydrogen, low pH. What does this do? It kills bacteria. Um, or your proper term, I think, is bacteria bacteria static, um, very much slows down the growth, um, and it also kills parasites. Yeah, so that's one thing, really important function here. Yeah. Um, what else does a low pH do? Well, it also um, activates pepsin from pepsinogen. So low pH of, um, it's about, I think it has its effect at um, 1.8 to 3.5. So if you have a pH around there, that allows pepsinogen to be activated with pepsin. Why is this important? Pepsin is very, very crucial for the degradation of some proteins. So um, digestion of proteins. Not much um, digestion happens in the gut, I mean in the stomach. Um, but pepsin is an enzyme that degrades proteins and has a specific effect on collagen, which is just one of the, one of the proteins that none, no of the other enzymes really have much of an effect on. So that's pretty important. Uh, so partially digest proteins are important. Uh, um, what else um, does it do? Well, this low pH also just denatures proteins. Um, DNHs proteins. Um, this is imp especially important in like the cell wall of um, the cell wall of plants and that sort of thing. So it, it does that, um, and it also just decreases particle size, which is also important. Okay, so that's the main things it does. Um, that's kind of important for your digestion. There's one other thing that. I think you should always think of when you're thinking about gastric acid, and that's intrinsic, intrinsic factor. Okay, why is this important? It has the same controls. I'll just write that out because it's important to remember. Same controls, or much the same. There might be some differences, but shares a lot of the controls as um, as does gastric acid, and um, that's important because intr intrinsic factor 
is um, absolutely crucial in the absorption of B12. So if for some reason your controls are stuffed up for P for your gastric acid, so they're stuffed up, um, then your gastric acid's gonna be you're not gonna be getting that, then you're not gonna get your B12 absorbed, and then you're gonna get macrocytic anemia. Because your red blood cells are not gonna be able to be made properly. So that's a brief overview. Um, yeah.